Hello everyone! This video is going to be a little bit different than the previous ones. Well, at least I haven't made such videos in a long, long time. Today I went out and played a game of chess and over the board a game of chess outside in the um, south of France in the city called Antibes, a very charming uh, city by the sea. And from now on, I'm gonna try to record such videos of me playing outside in all those wonderful cities that I have a chance to visit. So let's go. But before that, press like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. And let's enjoy summer, sea and chess. So I start the game with e4. We had a problem that we picked uh, quite an uneven surface to play this game. It was a Sicilian, the Alapin variation, d6. My opponent opted for a rather passive line and let me occupy the center. So I think I got a very pleasant position out of the opening. g6, knight f3. But nevertheless, players sometimes do play such a setup with black. The time control is 3 minutes plus 2 seconds additional time for every move a player makes. Bishop to e3 probably was not the best move uh, to play. Rook e1 would have been more powerful. And here I took with the knight. Uh, somehow I was afraid to take with the pawn because of knight b4, but after knight takes d4, black is doing perfectly fine. And my opponent started to attack my pieces. I don't want to give up my bishops, so I move them forward, but as you may hear, I'm saying that it's a trap. So black, uh, so far so good for black. They keep attacking with every move they make. Why are you moving forward, I ask? Because I'm an aggressive player, my opponent replies. But this breakthrough in the center opens up the position and uh, helps my bishops. But the position is about equal nevertheless. Although, as I point out, I do have a time advantage. One minute time advantage. Which is quite a lot for a three minute blitz game. Queen to c7, protecting the knight on c4. And of course I want to push the knight back, but I start with attacking the knight on d5. Knight to f4, almost forcing me to give up one of my bishops, because I cannot really leave the knight on f4. And Finally, finally, I'm asking the knight from c4 to go away. 
putting my bishop on a very good square on b3 where it not only attacks the knight but also keeps the pressure on the f7 square and after knight a5 i put my bishop on d5 because i don't want to exchange it for uh, the knight on a5 and black is indeed running very low on time although the position is about equal knight to a3 quite an unusual way to develop my pieces but Okay, rook a to d8 and probably this is a mistake because suddenly suddenly i'm i'm starting to jump with my knights the knight goes to g5 and attacks f7 and it's quite quite unpleasant rook to d7 is already a blunder we see how the eval bar is going up it's rising up indicating that white has some tactical possibilities that i managed to find knight to b5 another knight's attack from the queen side attacking the queen queen to e5 and now we were not supposed to go there why not oh yeah a few sacrifices knight takes f7 combination okay taking on f7 and then followed by another fork knight to d6 king to g8 okay so thanks to this combination i have two rooks indeed but my opponent has three pieces which is a material advantage but the yep. position there is still a lot of um, work to do in order to win queen to f7 uh, and here for some reason i didn't take on f4 i just had to take the pawn on f4 it was hanging instead i played queen to c5 and that gave my uh, opponent some time to consolidate his pieces he played h6 he made a window for his king and it became not so clear anymore i don't know i started i couldn't find uh, a plan i spent quite some time you can see that uh, for the moment i have a big time advantage a big material advantage as well but for some reason here i i lost a little bit uh, the uh, initiative i played rook a to d1 which is a bad move because it allows um, black to play f3 and start creating pressure on the king side it gave black time and not only chess time but my time on the clock is slipping away I used to have a big time advantage, but now not anymore. So I'm going desperately for uh, some threats. Rook 1 to d5, but it weakens my king. Queen to f6, I play g3. And here you, you're going to see how the evaluation bar is uh, going to jump. Bishop takes h3, although bishop to e6 was much stronger, almost winning. But now we're playing on seconds. Queen to g5, queen to d5, threatening a checkmate, but after h5, the king can survive and go to h6. Yeah, luckily my opponent had some problems with his pieces and he made a mistake. He exchanged the queens. Yes, and he lost all his pawns. And at the same time, he blundered a piece. A beautiful combination oh, what a with. Trick, what a dirty trick with double attack yes uh, forced my opponent <laughs> to resign okay. yes. that was a first try for our our oh, stream now we're gonna uh, do some interviews hi 
144 players, I think. Spectators watched our uh, game. What do you want to say to those people? I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> Swim now. Swim? Swim. Okay. They call you a Frenchman. I am. Well, this mysterious Frenchman was, uh, in fact, my husband who readily agreed to play this game and uh, let me uh, record this video and make this video. Uh, the game, the ending of the game was quite chaotic as you uh, saw it but i hope that you enjoyed it nevertheless and uh, you're gonna like the video you're gonna leave a comment and uh, let me know if you enjoyed uh, the video if you want to see more videos like this and if you do well then they will be coming to this channel thank you for watching and i'll see you soon